So, uh, Alex, here's the good news. The good news, Alex. Whatever. Starting something totally new. That's cool. So if the previous things in this class, even from the very first day, are super confusing to you, you have a fresh start because this is all new. The bad news, it's all new. <laughs> well, because that means that you have to start from scratch. But it's good news if you've been struggling. If you found the last stuff easy, then you probably want to just do more of that. All right. So, first of all, I need to tell you what a polynomial is. Well... Poly means many. Nomial is uh, numbers. Many numbers? That's right. Many numbers. We can handle this one. Here's the thing that's the trickiest part. Dang. I'm going to tell you the trickiest part at the beginning. Okay, Rachel? Because it's going to be weird. And it's going to save you a lot of headaches later. So the thing is, like if I had something like x minus 5, that right there, the way it's written, that's two different numbers. Okay? Because I don't know what x is. But that's two numbers. I have x, whatever number that is, and I have uh, a minus 5. That's two numbers. Okay. This is one number. The parentheses. They group it together. Yeah, I don't know what number this is, but it's 5 less than x. This is the trick. This is the thing that's hard to see. This number is 5. 5 less than x. So that's the thing that's really can get confusing about this. This is two numbers, and this is one. And it's because of the group. And there's other ways this can be one number also. Like, for example, if you had 3 divided by x minus 5, that's one number in the bottom. Because the fraction makes it a group. Yep, yep. That's the thing that's going to get confusing to you guys. Can you go back again? Yeah. Yeah, you so the part two where x, that one, is the number is 5 less than x. Right, right. Because whatever x is, this number is equal to 5 less than x. It's so like if x was 20, this number would be 15. So yeah, yeah. Because it's all in a group, so it's one thing. So, like, if, if x was 20, this would be 3 divided by 15, which would be 1 fifth. Yeah, that, like, that's just a number. It's one number. It's related to x. I don't know what x is, so I don't know what the number is, but it's just one number. It's not two numbers. Well, sometimes we can, but we don't know what x is. But it doesn't matter. It's just a number. It's a number we don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay, now. Huh. Need to talk to you guys about this thing called, well, here, watch. Let's say we had 3x to the fifth minus 2x squared plus x minus 91.2. Did you just that up? I did. It's my favorite polynomial on Tuesday evenings. This time? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Uh, yep. Uh, I, I want to teach you about parts of a polynomial. This is a polynomial. The reason I know it's a polynomial, do you see all of the exponents are whole numbers? Do you see? Okay, that's one key thing. And you see the numbers in front, they're called coefficients. Coefficients. They're all rational. Like, there's not pi or anything like that. They're all fractions or whole numbers. That's how I know it's a polynomial. Partly. Not a big deal. Like, the book actually gives you stuff in it, like this, and it's like, is that a polynomial? I don't, I don't really care if you don't know why. 
But here's the things you do have to know about it, okay? The biggest exponent, you see the biggest exponent is 5? The biggest exponent is called the degree. What was it? The biggest exponent uh -huh. is called the degree. There's, there's a more complicated definition for degree than that also, but we don't need to know it for now. The biggest exponent is called the degree. I probably won't give you a quiz question when I say, hey, what's the degree? But you might be given a question that says, hey, the degree of this polynomial is 7. And if you don't know what that means, then you won't be able to answer it. Okay? Now, coefficients. Our numbers in front, for a lack of, for an easy way to understand it, of unknowns or or variables like 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 three. Three is a coefficient. Coefficients are numbers in front of the unknowns. The three is a special one. Well, you see, it's the coefficient for the biggest degree, right? For the biggest exponent, I mean. That means it's called the leading coefficient. It? It's called the leading coefficient because it's the it's the coefficient for the variable with the biggest exponent. So if it's on the opposite side, so it's going to be the same. So if it was, I'm sorry, if it was like in a different place, it would be the like Yes. So even if this was like, if we had the same exact values but it was mixed up, right, mm -hmm. that would still be the leading coefficient. It doesn't matter because it's first. Like if this was first, that one, two would not be the leading coefficient. It would be that one, three. Why not 91? Yes. Because the degree, because there's, you see the exponent? You see the X? Yeah, that's why. This is the biggest one right here. So the biggest degree is that's the leading The biggest exponent will have the leading coefficient. Right. Yeah. So Sonia, we good? Yeah. Yep. So far, so good. You know what they say, though, right? So far, so good, so what? So what, right? <laughs> oh, wait, that wasn't very uplifting, was it? No. Oh, man. Well, I said good I said good things earlier. Right. <laughs> Didn't I say good things earlier? Yeah. Oh, I thought I did. It's unusual for me. That's why I remember. <laughs> okay, I mostly just make fun of people. I uh, no, I, I just wanted to tell you about her, not not about why. Uh, yeah. Then why did you say you were gonna tell us why? No, I said I was. Do you want to hear a story about the person? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, that is yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, she did. So, uh, Alex, last thing we're gonna talk about right here are these things called terms. Can you guys see that color? Yeah. 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 Huh, it looks weird. It's brighter on the camera than it is on paper. Terms. 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 Not germs. Terms are parts. Terms are parts. And they're separated by plus, minus, and equal. So here we have one term, two terms, three terms, four terms. So far so good because we haven't had to do any math, right? There's <laughs> just like a lot of drawing. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, <laughs> Yeah, so I guess this actually would be kind of a big big deal, though, because this is all the vocabulary. This is all the stuff we're, we're talking about. The vocabulary. This is the big idea. Oh, the vocabulary. Oh, I'm sorry. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Yeah. 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 Vocabulary, was it? Vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you just put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Uh huh. Right. Vocabulary. 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 Emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Okay. So, uh, what was your question, Sam, before I was so rudely interrupting you? <laughs> Nothing? Uh, is uh, the vocabulary going to be on the test? Or? I won't give you a vocabulary thing, but the problem with the vocabulary is if you don't understand it, then, then you can't, like, look at a question and know what it means. Like the one we started class with, if you didn't know what slope was and you didn't know what all those words really meant, then you can't answer it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, in a way, this is... How did it teach you? Yeah, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't understand the math if you don't understand the vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to learn one thing today, and that is we are going to add and subtract polynomials. Okay, so we know what polynomials are. Today we're going to add and subtract. Is that also like combining? Yep. Yeah, it's often called combining like terms. Because that's all you're doing when you're adding and subtracting. This is actually, right here, Alex, this is the how you do it. So that's what we're going to learn today. I guess the only question then, would M and M be, what are like terms? Yeah. I'll let everybody write that down but before we move on. But yeah, that's the thing, right? If you know what like terms are, then, then this is going to be really, really easy. Like terms have the same variables and exponents. So if you're looking at something that has all the variables are the same and all the exponents are the same, then those are like terms. So Sonia, I think maybe it would help if I gave you a list of things that were like and things that were not like. So we'll do this. So we'll do like terms and not like terms. Okay. We'll put a little line down this middle right here, separating these two. Okay, so like terms, I'll put them in pairs. Those are like terms. Because they both have an X, they both have a Y, and the X and the Y, like the exponent for this X is the same as the one for that. It's one. And the exponent for this Y is the same as the exponent for that Y. And I'm going to put one more on here that might look confusing. I'm going to do 15YX. That is the same. Yeah, Y times X is the same as X times Y. Those all three are the same. So I'm going to do something similar. Let's do 5xy and 5x squared y. Not the same because of the square for the x. Yeah? Okay. Let's do something like, what if we had 3 a to the power of d? times C. That's going to be the same as negative A to the power of D times C. Those are like terms. I don't know what exponent D is. That seems ridiculous. All that you need to know is that they're the same as each other. Even, even if the letters are different, they're like terms? Like a different order? Like this? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Because it's multiplying. So you can switch them? Yeah, you can change the order when you multiply because, like, for example, okay. 2 times 7 is the same as 7 times 2. <laughs> yes, M&M? Yeah, so, what if, so let's say you were to put, um, oh, wait, never mind. No, you got it. Okay. So I'm going to okay. give you an example that's <laughs> things that are not the same. So 
what if I did x y squared and x squared y squared? That's not the same. If this had a 2, it would be good. Yep. Okay. Now, do you guys think you know the difference between like terms and not like terms? All the same variables? Yep. All the same exponents. Doesn't matter about the coefficients or the signs. Okay, now here's why this is important. Like terms can be added or subtracted. If they're not like terms, you can multiply them, but you can't add or subtract. It doesn't matter if they're like terms for multiplication, but for addition, it does. Wait, but the whole can be multiplied or divided, um, it doesn't apply to like terms then? They can also be multiplied and divided, yeah. You can multiply or divide anything. It doesn't even matter. If, if, if they're like terms, you can multiply? Yes, you can multiply or divide and, subtract. and add as subtract. So you can multiply and divide those, yes. You can do it into like terms. Yeah, like terms. You can, you can multiply or divide? Yeah. Numbers. Yep, you can. Like, well, there it is right there, x times y. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't the same term, and you're multiplying them. So you would multiply x and y? Yeah. In fact, watch. I'm going to write two things that are not like terms. You ready? Yeah. Mm, two and three are not like terms. Okay. No, I know. And two times three is six. I know. But I'm talking about with the variable. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So, like, you could do x squared times y squared. There it is, x squared times y squared. I multiplied them. Yeah, but what about right there where it's 5x5 and 5x? Oh, I could multiply those. You want me, you want me to multiply those? So 5xy times 5x squared y. That would be 25, right? Because 5 times 5 is 25. x times x squared is x cubed. Oh, okay. y times y is y squared. Yeah, okay. But you can't add them. Oh, what? Cannot add them, but you could multiply. Yeah. Oh, so, wait, so that, ask me that again, please. No, like, on that one, like, what I'm saying. This one? As long as the, no, the bottom. Okay. So, it doesn't matter, I mean, uh, does it matter, like, the exponent has to be in the same place? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, like, this would not work. If it was 3a to the power of d times c, that would be different than, than that. Okay. Because here, the exponent of d is for the c. Because it'll change the number completely, right? Correct. Okay. Hmm. So let's see here. Sonia, don't get down. Don't get down. Don't get down. I know it's disappointing. It's okay to get down, but you got to use it as motivation. Right. That's that like that song, yeah. Okay. Let's try. Let's try one. Like, okay. I don't really like your book for this section because your book goes from so for from no examples at all to here's the easiest example in the whole thing. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, but it can be intimidating to look at. So go ahead and write it down, then we'll, we'll do it together. Let's talk about it. It's really not that bad. But yeah, go ahead and write it down, and then we will talk about it. I'm sorry? It should end up in only like one. So, well, check this out. Here's the thing. Uh, you see how this is in a group? 
this is actually all one number. So is this. This is all one number. So I'm adding one number to another number. That's what's happening. They all do. Yes, they do. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the things that are the same. So check this out. You see how this is x cubed right here? Rachel, you see what I'm talking about? And this is also x cubed. Do you see? Now this one's not too bad because you see they're adding. So all I got to do is just combine them. Bless you. But what would make this tricky is if this was a minus sign, then this would become way trickier. But it's plus. So all I got to do is negative 6 plus 17. What is that, 11? So that's 11x cubed. The, the you don't add or subtract the, the, the... Nope, only if you're multiplying. The only time exponents change is from multiplication because exponents are multiplication. All right. So this is actually how... I'm showing you how I would do it. So I, I would do those two. They're the same, and I scratch them off so that way they're done. Right? Okay, Alex, squares. I have a 5, right? And then plus 2. I, I'm not very good at math. I think 5 plus 2 is 7. Good, Priscilla? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, scratch those off. Ooh, mm, negative and a negative. These are both x. Negative 8 minus 4. So negative 8 plus negative 4. That's negative 12. And then 9 plus negative 13. Just take your time. Math is like dating. You don't want to rush in and do th something stupid. You get your feelings hurt. <laughs> True story, Vanessa. No, that's your answer, right? That's your answer. That's it. You don't do nothing. You don't that's all you can do. There are no like terms left. Oh, okay, yeah. There's no like terms left. You're done. Okay. Okay, now let's make you hate it. Not really. No, yeah. He's going to make it solve it now. No, there's nothing to solve. There's no, no equal solve, sign. No. That's it. That's it. That's Not it. The multiplication. But well, we're going to subtract, which is a little trickier, but you can handle it. So let's subtract. Let's do the same ones, okay? Same one? Same one, except we're going to change one thing. We're, it's a different problem because we're going to change it to minus. And this is going to be our last example for the day. And then we're going to be D-O-N-E finished. F-I-N-I-S-H-E-D done. <laughs> okay, Alex. Uh, we have to be careful with this. Calculator. Anytime, it won't help. It won't. Whatever mistake you're going to make, you're going to make it on a calculator too. Calculator won't help. You see a negative sign? Don't freak out. Just slow down. Just slow down. So check this out. You're subtracting the whole thing. So here's, this is this is what I would do if I was being careful. I would go ahead and say, okay, that's 6x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8x plus 9. Bless you. Okay, now, that part stayed the same. It didn't change because I'm subtracting all of this. So look, I'm going to subtract 17x cubed, right? Uh -huh. I'm also going to subtract positive 2x. So that's going to be minus 2x squared. Oh, okay, you're changing the symbol. That's right. And then this one, I minus negative 4 is plus 4. Minus a negative is plus 4. And minus 13 is plus 13. All the signs changed. And now you combine like terms. Most of the time when you guys get taught how to do this, they say, oh, there's an invisible one, and you distribute. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. That's there's, there, there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with that, but I think it's I think it's easier just to say, okay, I'm subtracting 17, and I'm subtracting a positive two, and I'm subtracting a negative four, which makes it's it plus. All, did, all the signs change. That's it. Doesn't matter how you think about it. There's nothing wrong with this. It do, either way you do it, doesn't matter. Sam, we're doing good. Yeah. Okay, Sam. Now we just got to do that thing. It begins with a C, and it ends with unbind like terms. <laughs> That's what we got to do. It's really tricky. Right. That's right. What is it? That begins with, yeah, I know. I'll, tell, I'll give you the clue again, okay? Yeah, it begins with a C, and it ends with unbind-like terms. 
Yeah. Right yeah, I know it's like right on the tip of your tongue, right? Like you feel like you should know. It's right there on the tip of your tongue. Okay, Sonia, do you know what to do next? Do you know what to do next, Sonia? Yeah, you're overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> by this or by the quiz? By everything. By everything? Okay. I'm well, trying to figure it out. Well, well, check it out. All we're going to do is we're going to, we're literally going to combine like terms. We're going to look for things that are the same. Mm-hmm. You see how those are the same? They're X cubed? Yep. Well, there's negative 6 and negative 17. That's negative 23. And, and the, thing, the thing is, you're adding X cubes. So I have 6 of them and 17 of them. That makes 23. The thing you're adding itself doesn't change. Mm-hmm. Like if, I, if you had $2 and somebody gave you another dollar, you have $3. You don't have three $2. It's just $3. The dollars don't change when you're adding. So that's like negative $6 and $17. You always leave $3. Right, it would be negative, so you know. Okay, now, I'm going to scratch those off because I got those done. Being neat and careful is very important for these. 5 minus 2? Plus 3. Because it's 5 minus 2. Yeah, it's 5 minus 2. That's plus. Right? Mm-hmm. Negativo 8 más 4 is negative 4. Negative 8 plus 4, negative 4. And then these two, they're both positive, right? So 22? Man. Rachel, you can handle that, right? Yeah. You're going to go all gangster on this homework. So in your uh, book, here's here's what I would I think. Okay, you got to know how to do these for Thursday. Show up with questions. I'll, I'll write the page number down right now, but it's number nine through fourteen, and it's just page two sixty five. Okay, it's only five problems. Okay, got to make sure you understand those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, vaya con Dios. I thought I did worse than that. Me too. Yeah, I thought you did two worse too, Alex. <laughs>